Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel where we discuss everything that is happening in electric vehicle ecosystem in India guys. So before I begin, do subscribe to the channel if you want to stay updated about everything that is happening in electric vehicle ecosystem in India guys. So guys, first news is about Komaki MX3 e-bike. So Komaki has launched its electric bike in competition to Revolt RV400. I have been saying this from quite a long time that the electric bike market is untouched, unexplored. Apart from Revolt, there was no major competitor in electric bike market. Only electric bikes that are there are upcoming bikes like Ultraviolet. And apart from that, there are some regional players like Earth Energy or, uh, you know, Joy Bikes, EVgo. But now Komaki MX3 electric bike has come at a price point of 95,000 rupees. So very similar price point to Revolt guys. And as you can see in the image, the look is a bit similar to Revolt. But we will get into the details of the uh, technical specifications. So MX3 is an urban commuter. And again, as I said, it is pitched in uh, against rv400 so this has a range of 85 to 100 kilometers and uh, you know it it is said that it will be uh, charged in 1 to 1.5 unit but i don't think that is possible in a 1 to 1.5 unit battery i think it is it will have easily 2 to 3 units battery because the revolt bike which claims to give a 150 kilometer range on a low gear and and or on an eco mode but actually gives around 100 to 120 kilometers has a three unit battery if this all is coming at one to 1.5 unit battery it's a very good specification why because which means the battery will also be charged very fast if it is just one to 1.5 unit it is coming in three colors garnet red deep blue and jet black color guys so um Komaki also launched a commercial electric bike in February, which was starting at 75,000, which has a gel based battery and the lithium ion version was 85,000 rupees. Now the question is how will the market, how will the customer perceive this new Komaki bike, which has been positioned against revolt because guys, I have been part of a lot of WhatsApp groups where people have booked revolt and they're not very happy because the bookings and the delivery has been delayed uh, for some reason or another. Initially, it was locked down and now, you know, because of some import issues, there has been a lot of supply chain issues with Revolt. The question is, will customer shift to Komaki MX3 electric bike? And if yes, is the price point at which it is pitched, is it enough? Because Guys, Revolt gives you 150 kilometers claimed range. Let's say actual range of 100 to 120 kilometers at a price of 80,000 to 90,000. However, Komaki is giving you a range claimed range of 80 to 100 kilometers at this price point. So that might go a bit against Komaki. However, we'll have to see how this model performs in the market guys moving on to the next news guys that is from jaguar i pace jaguar i pace already started booking uh you know few months back as i have been telling again and again jaguar i pace is the electric car in premium segment against mercedes benz eq against audi e-tron against volvo x60 mercedes benz eq is already available in the showrooms at a price point of 95 lakhs jaguar i pace is also being rolled out from tomorrow across 19 cities in 22 retail outlets so if you have a, a tata jaguar showroom around you go check the jaguar i pace out guys and the price point is definitely will be the same price point that is for mercedes benz eq that is 95 lakhs to 1.05 crore uh, the battery is a huge heavy battery that is a 95 units battery the same as uh, mercedes benz uh, the power uh, it has two motors permanent magnet synchronous motors that provide a power of 294 kilowatt and 696 newton meter torque it can accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in 4 uh, 4 seconds 
and it has a top speed of 200 km per hour that is a pretty impressive top speed but again guys very very costly and to charge a 95 unit battery you will need a 50 kilowatt dc charger or 25 kilowatt dc charger if you plug it in your house connection it's gonna take two complete days to charge so yeah you will need a good fast charger and uh, all right guys so that was about jaguar i pace if you are interested go check it out moving on to the next news that is from piaggio piaggio already has launched its electric three-wheeler piaggio ape now piaggio is a very famous automotive uh, manufacturer guys uh, from italy now it also all two-wheeler under its brand the most known in india is vespa and the way i remember vespa is the costly scooty it is a premium scooty but uh, you know piaggio already unveiled its electric version of vespa in 2020 in auto expo now but the talks are going on that piaggio might launch its aprilia scooter before its vespa uh, you know vespa's electric model this model design you can see on my screen uh, you know uh, it will take some time for piaggio to really uh, make the powertrains in india because there is a lot of localization required in the components of the powertrain uh, the vespa is a uh, as i said premium segment but aprilia is a functional segment it's like a racing scooter or a scooter that is performance oriented it is a scooter which gives you good range or mileage so to speak so uh, vespa right now is basically sold in europe and the electric version of that has a range of 100 km per hour with a 4 km water and a top speed of 70 km per hour so definitely way higher than what we are used to in hero electric scooters so guys the question is when will it be launched and what will be the exact specification we'll have to wait uh, for the exact news uh, in india there is a, a a joint venture between bajaj auto and piaggio based on which the chetak was launched so uh, we'll have to wait for aprilia's launch in india if it is going to be launched the next news is is about an entrepreneur in india and his name is rajat varma as you can see on my screen and guys he's doing a great job in terms of uh, recycling batteries his company's name is loham clean tech you can go and check it out so what rajat is doing is that he is recycling uh, the lithium from lithium ion batteries and this is very important guys because uh, the reality is that the lithium reserves have not been discovered much in India. So most of the batteries manufactured across the world, including India, are imported and assembled in those particular countries. Mostly the cells are imported from China, Korea or Japan. So these are the countries that cells are uh, imported from and those cells are then assembled in the respective imported country. But if we are able to recycle the lithium, there is a lot uh, less demand of lithium import required because the cathode of the lithium ion cell then can be renewed in fact a few time back uh, you know a few months back i discussed in one of my videos that there is a big company in china which does only one thing that is it recycles the old lithium ion batteries and it produces huge amount of recycled lithium so we would be uh, you know you will call these batteries second life batteries and and his company is, extra is extracting lithium cobalt nickel and manganese and he's also saying that if india has to compete with china in terms of lithium ion battery manufacturing it is going to be a huge effort because already uh, three quarters three fourth of global capacity of lithium ion battery is coming from china guys it's it's way ahead in terms of lithium ion manufacturing so that is the news from this startup good going mr rajat so guys i hope you liked the today's video do subscribe to the channel if you want to stay updated about everything that is happening in electric vehicle ecosystem in india guys uh, that's it for today see you in the next video till then goodbye